Welcome back. This is week five of our guitar course. This is video number two. All right, so in video number one of this week, we started learning the G pentatonic scale. And I hope you did a couple things. I hope you practiced playing it on the guitar. I hope you practiced using the pattern with just your fingers. Open two, open three, open three, three, open three, open two, open. And you're a little bit better at that than you were yesterday. Well, we're going to go on now and we're going to try that a few times together because part of playing a pattern, especially in music, is we have to be able to play it in time. So we're going to start off with that pattern and we're going to start with the G scale, G pentatonic scale. By the way, have you figured out why it's a pentatonic scale? It's because there's five different notes, right? Except for the G, those are the same note. You have the A, G, A, B, D, E. That's G, A, B, D, E. It's five different notes. So here we go. Make sure you have a good hand position, thumb in the right place, straight wrist. Your fingers are ready to be curved at the first knuckle. Start with the open G. Let's do it in tempo here. A whole note for each, each note. One, two, ready, go. G, two, three, four. A, two, three, four. B, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. E, two, three, four. And up to G, two, three. Now back to E. E, two, three. Now D, two, three, four. Two, three, four. A, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Good. Think you could do it a little faster? Try to keep up. One, two, three, go. G, two, three, four. A, two, three, four. Open, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. Cool. Do you think you could do each of those notes four times in a row as quarter notes? So we'd go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's give it a try. I'll go a little, start a little slower. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. We're going backwards. E, two, three, four. D, two, three, four. Two, three, four. A, two, three, four. And G, two, three, four. Okay. Now, those are a couple of good ways to practice your G pentatonic scale. You want to go slow. You want to repeat the notes. Uh, we could also try it pretty fast if we wanted to, but I'll let you try that on your own for right now. Um, when we're playing scales, eventually we want to be able to play any of those notes at any time that we, can, we, we need to. Uh, but the big important thing is that we know the pattern to it. Because later on, when you're playing guitar, we'll actually translate this pattern to other spots on the guitar. And we'll do it a little differently because we'll play different notes, but it'll still be the same pattern. And if you can remember that pattern now, if you haven't memorized and you know it by heart, it'll be so much easier later on. So I want you to get started on the right foot here. So uh, let's try uh, a little bit of high five. Let's look at it first. Now, there's two things you have to, uh, to look at here. One, you have to look at the notes. Okay, then you also have to use the tab to help you figure out where the notes are, are on, on the guitar, where you have to put your fingers up here in, on which, what fret and what string. We have to use both of them, but of course, I want you to use the notation more than you use the tab. Uh, reading notation is ultimately going to be the best way of learning music for you and for everyone else that, that ever will play guitar. <laughs> and so we want to be able to do both, but we want to make sure that we're able to read the staff. So we have the first note, G, which is a nice open string, and then A, and then B. Now, if you'll notice here, I did write some chords in here, right? 
Now, remember, the chords are not necessarily the note names. Okay, so for example, where that first C is, it's not a C note. There's no C in the G pentatonic scale. That's a B. So we have to be able to play the B, nice open string there. And you can see that it's open because of the tab. So we don't have to play it on the G string fourth fret. See, that's the same note, right? But we want to play it on the open B string. Um, Another thing you need to notice is the rhythm on this one. And I kept the rhythm pretty simple on this one. It's a combination of long and short notes. It goes long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long, and so forth. And so that pattern happens all throughout. So if you just played a long note, then you know you're going to get two short notes coming up next. Uh, same thing if you just play two short notes, then you're going to get a nice long note. Uh, it makes for a nice a nice flow to the pattern of, of the music. We're going to try, uh, let's just try the first three measures. And it's going to go real simple. It's going to start on G. And you go G, that's your long note. And then A, B, G. Okay, try that with me. Ready, go. G, get ready. A, B, G. Okay, try that one more time with me. Ready, go. G, A, B, G. Okay, all right, not bad. Now, what comes next? We're on the fourth measure now. Yeah, right, it's a B, it's, so it's open B. We skip up to the B string, so we go open G. We come to, back to the open B, B. There's your third finger on D, D, up to open. And then G, E, D. Let's do this. Let's try the whole first line. Let's go really, really slow. I want your eyes in the music, your fingers in the right place. And the better you are at getting the pattern down, the easier it's going to get. I'll call out the fret number. How about? Uh, but you got to make sure you're playing the right string. Here we go. Ready? Open G to start. Ready? Go. G. Now two. Open and open, open B, three, open, up to three, backwards open, three, okay? Now here's what I want you to do. Ultimately, you're gonna have to practice this on your own. So pause the video and try just the first line of high five, uh, maybe five times in a row. See if you can get all the notes in order and you can get the pattern of long, short, short, long. Go for it. All right, that hopefully you got some good practice in there. Let's go on to the second line now. This one is going to follow some of the same things, but we're coming off a long note. So we, are, we start with two short notes here. So short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long. And that's how we start off this one. So it starts on the open E. Let's go real slow, note by note. Ready, go. E, three, G, G again. Okay, back to E, E. It skips down to B, and then you got D, third finger. Uh huh. Back to B, and then A, and G. Okay, one more time. Listen to it. Goes like this, E, G, G, E, B, D, B, A, G. All right, now again, I want you to practice that second line on your own about five times in a row. Go for it. Okay, well, very good. Now, hopefully you have the whole song um, learned to some degree. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect right now. Uh, the big idea here is not being able to play the song perfectly. The big idea is learning the G pentatonic scale and being able to, to read it on the page as well as play it on the guitar. And so if you get a wrong note, don't worry about it. In fact, if you get a wrong note, as long as it's within the G pentatonic scale, it'll actually sound good. So try to keep going whatever you play, okay? Let's try it again. Remember, I'm using my thumb here because I can feel the strings a little bit better. And so we're going to try the whole thing now, um, very slowly, without the track. And just get your hand ready, get your thumb in place. 
Wrists nice and relaxed, but straight. Ready to curve those fingers. Here we go. One, two, three, go. G, two, three, four. And A, and B, and G, two, three, four. B, D, and E, three, four. Up to G, E, D, two, three, four. E, G, G again, two, three, four. E, skip down, B, D, two, three, four. B, A, G. Okay, now that may have gone well, may have not gone well. Uh, if it didn't go well, give it some practice. If it did go well, uh, you're ready to go on. So I'll give you a second, pause the video if you need to practice. All right. Now, you've practiced it, and you're doing the best you can at it, and that's good for right now. So we're gonna try it with the track, and I have two versions of the track. I have the slow version, I have the fast version. We're gonna try the slow version first because slow practice is good practice. So here we go. A one, two, ready, go. Short, long, that's it. Short, short, long, work, work, work back up. And here's a G again. Mm -hmm. B, A, G. Okay. That was the first time through. Now, remember that we have the repeat sign at the end of this one, so we have to go back and do it again. Now, this time, I'm gonna leave it up to you, okay? I might strum some chords on this one or something as, as the track's playing, but I want you to make up your own melody using the notes of the G pentatonic scale. If right now all you can do is go up and down the scale, do it, okay? See if you, however, if you can do the long, short, short, long pattern. Uh, to, to your own melody here. And, and it can be very similar to the one that I wrote for you. It can be completely different. You can make up whatever you want using the G pentatonic scale and using short or long, short, short, long. Let's continue. One, two, three, go. Two. Right. Now, we, we kind of broke that one up there because uh, you were trying. I, I encourage you to do your own melody as well as the written melody on this one. And I want to try it one more time. And this time I want you to do it again. Make up another melody the second time through. See if you can play it right the first time through with what's written and then make up your own melody. Did you stick with the G pentatonic scale? So it's kind of hard at first, but it's like using vocabulary and using big words when we're giving speeches, or at least more descriptive words. Uh, and this is something that we can do to use music creatively. We can be our own musician. We can be our own composer in this, in this case, and we can have lots of fun with it. Let's try that again. One, two, ready, go.
Okay, here's your turn for the solo. So hopefully you're having some fun with that. This is an opportunity to be really creative, to, to express yourself ex express yourself, and to, to have a voice in music. Uh, it's a time when you don't have to play just what's written on the page. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to play that one more time. Um, and I'll let you have fun with it, okay? Let's do the fast version though. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. So go ahead and you can rewind that and play that through a few more times. On your own, this, the rest of the day, practice your G pentatonic scale up and down a few more times. Practice making melodies with it uh, and have fun with it. I'll see you again for video three. Bye-bye.